Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to your May reading. Now if you're wanting to make a booking, you can go to the link directly below. There's a spiritual shop online and there is several payment methods. Now these ones are going to be pre-recorded due to the internet not working. And the Twin Plank video will be done live, but it'll be via my phone credit. Until I can get a new modem. Which will have to be tomorrow. Now, okay, we are in a shadow period at the moment. As I've mentioned in the other videos, if you have cross-watched them, so sorry if I have to keep repeating myself, because this is generally related to a collective energy. Now, what we've got to understand is, you know, we being in a shadow period, plus with the retrogrades that had been going on, there has been a very heavy energy. Now, I would say the heaviest it was was definitely in April, uh, but, but again, it wasn't any lighter. It did get heavier as the month progressed. Now, around the full moon, it may be a bit lighter, but you're going to be going up and down. There is a risk during this time where we can go back over old ground. Now, this is physically to a person, uh, to a given situation, to an emotion. Uh, this can be in any area of your life where they, there may be a physical large block that is preventing you from moving forward in your life. This can be in the romance sector. It can be in your working sector. In fact, it'll probably be in every sector. Now, you guys have done a great deal of purging. You do feel super tired. You also do feel as though at times you're getting quite run down and you do need to pay attention to your health. Now, some of you are showing that brave face, but what's going on inside is quite, how would I put it? You, put, you are a happy person. So energetically speaking, in general, you really are a happy person. But there feels as though uh, there has been a massive like process going on. So... You know, emotionally speaking, this healing is going to be incredibly positive for you. And there, it is boding well. Career-wise, there is great potential and doors opening. But again, you do need to understand that your potential is, you know, directly connected to a mindset. If you just trust in the process that you're worth it, this will flow correctly. It can be that some of you do wish to move on from a position that you're doing, but you're feeling directly emotionally blocked. So I do feel the purging that you're doing and the emotional healing is directly connected to a block and what you're thinking you're entitled to. Now, this can stem from the way you had been raised and what family members have as a sense of a belief system and what their expectations were of you. So when that happens and you've got a block connected to your worth within a job, uh, it can directly link all the way back to childhood and what your parents' mindsets or your kin parents, if they weren't your biological parents, you know, their attitudes towards work and what their expe expectations were towards you. Also, this can be directly connected to a trigger point within employment um, or in your life that formed an opinion that you were not worth enough. So that energy will be really shifting through. And the same situation can come through connected to romance. So if you're questioning elements and dynamics connected to romance, and if the romantic situation you're currently in or manifesting in is going to directly, directly serve you, there will be that left and right emotionally speaking and purging going on. Now, it can be that you're really trying to hold on to your cash, that you're trying to save or you're physically being very cautious about what you're spending your money on. Very much in the employment, and, and this can be in any area of your life, there is an aspect which you know, it will be directly connected to you personally, that you're, it's starting to get a bit old. Something is starting to get a bit old. It can be the work. Uh, where you're doing the same job because work is coming through as a very heavy energy for you. It's like you directly apply your energy to keep yourself busy. And it's like when you're keeping busy, you feel you have a sense of purpose. But you, you need to not forget the aspects of fun, play, rest, um, you know, interaction. But try and keep those scales balanced emotionally speaking. Because it can be that you're getting tired of doing something in the same manner. So either change it up or follow your instincts connected to it and your intuition. It might be that this situation's been going on a long time and it just doesn't directly relate to you anymore. Okay, there has been a block and this could have, I feel this is more a past tense energy because definitely in the shadow period, 
this is an area where we go back over old ground. Now with this old ground, it can be connected to a situation where there was a third party um, or it can be that there, were, there is a complicated dynamic in your life. And look, this card, when it comes up, it can be connected to children from previous relationships and trigger points within that dynamic. But again, it can be even the paranoia connected to that and the emotions connected to that physical dynamic. So that's very much going to be coming up this month in your mind or on a 3D level. Now, definitely there is an abundance coming and whatever you manifest in, there is mass potential connected to that. So try and do your purging, but get grounded in between. So if it means you wash and bath salts or you listen to chakra related music for clearing and meditation, that situation with the positive mind is actually going to bode the best. Okay, this bike's driving me crazy. It's like five times. I should be writing it. Okay. There is going to be a change of plan. So anything that you thought was set in stone, which is real relevant for these retrograde periods and the shadow period, it's actually not. So it's going to come up and it may surprise you. I'll pull a clarifier on that. There could be a delay in a plan that you had and you were trying to get off the ground. This could be for different related reasons. It's something you'd hoped and wished for. And again, a change of plans. It's like maybe you've changed and that's why uh, this pause is actually happening there. Yeah, and again, the next card is indecision. It's because there might be other options that come to the table. It might be a new job. It might be suddenly someone says to you, hey, I've got a different position or your mind changes connected to everything you're doing and you do a 360 and say something's just changed to me. I just can't. You are holding on to your riches and what you've learnt and your emotions very tightly. You're super cautious about this. It's like you're being protective of yourself. Okay, your intuition is guiding you correctly. Ooh, we've got jumpers today. Okay, your intuition is very important. Please trust it. It's telling you the truth. Also, you are going to take action, and it's going to be very passionate, firm action. It's going to be very quick. feels very quick. It might be connected to your home, a change of home, a move from home, or leaving a home. But it's what you're passionate about. It may be connected to a brand new job you get. Okay, you're going to be very passionate about this. It will be your internal compass of what you think is correct. Children may be involved in this situation or it's a happier, playful environment, a healthier environment perhaps. The move may be due to a lack of creativity or forward motion in a previous situation, be it romance or work or family. Now, this can be connected to a twin flame or, in general, it can be just emotional driven by mid-May. I was going to say March, but it's going to give you balance in general. And this is either in romance or in every area. That's what it's feeling. Let's look at your health or any additional messages. Okay, physically speaking, you might be questioning the aspects of life and death. Some inheritance-related matters might be coming through. It can be that, you know, you're questioning life after death and the philosophies of such. Okay, complaining about complaining is still complaining. So you're realising that unless you do something and you apply your energy, you're not going to get a different outcome. By visualising what you're wanting to happen, you're going to get the best out of the situation. For some of you, I do feel travel. I'm not sure when, though. It's almost like in your mind, you're thinking of going somewhere, seeing someone. Be very careful. You've got a lot of plans. Now, this is almost like you have some options, and through those options, you're actually 
there's too many. You f it feels like an energy of a surprise that's coming through mm -hmm. where you feel super excited about the fact that there is an opportunity to have something really great. Okay, try and rewrite that story. And it feels as though you're going to choose to rewrite a story as such. But you do need to pay attention to your health because it has been under focus for a while. But it feels as though some aspects you need to have a look at. Agreements. <laughs> really have to disconnect that one. I'm recording. It drives me crazy. Okay, there is a celebration coming up, so there might be a party that you're attending. A celebration. But there's something happy about to occur. Okay, between you energetically, be it the person you're manifesting and thinking about considering or the relationship you're currently in. Okay, you're being very serious about something. You're taking something very seriously. But again, I think this is internally. And this can be both of you together if you're coupled or your physical energy separate. Some things you're not wanting to work so hard for, and it may be that the way you directly relate within this relationship is very fluid. But you're wanting something to come together perfectly. You've worked hard for it. But you're also feeling some aspects might be fake. Now, the aspects where you're feeling as fake is maybe because you need to communicate about something. I'll pull a clarifier. And for those of you who aren't in a connection, it can be that you feel that is this person going to come in? Is it a facade? Is it a twin flame? What's going to happen? But you're fighting for it, even though, you know, there is work involved and you are faithful to the situation. Now, your energy is moving forward regardless of whatever your choice is and there will be blessings for doing such. Now, the person who you're thinking about or manifesting in is hopeful of this and will be surprised by the way you apply your energy to the person or the given situation. Now, I hope this helps. I may do a mid-month reading. We will wait and say. Love and light, guys. Bye.